Hi! In this video I am going to present to you a very nice and useful piece of equipment, which is the Kips apparatus. This pretty looking piece of glassware was designed by a Dutch chemist called Petrus Jacobs Kip in the mid 19th century. It consists of two parts, where the bottom part is charged with a solid reactant and into the top part is poured a liquid reactant. In this video I am going to demonstrate you how it works by making some hydrogen gas and burning it. As the liquid reactant I am going to be using a diluted potassium hydroxide solution. You need to consider the volume of your KIPS apparatus as you prepare your reagent. My KIPS holds about 1.5 liters, so I will use 1 liter of potassium hydroxide solution. To make it, I use about 1 liter of water and 60 grams of potassium hydroxide. The amount of hydroxide determines the rate of reaction with the aluminium foil, which is my salt reagent. After both water and hydroxide have been added, I let the mixture stir until it clears up and prepare the solid reagent. To prepare the solid reagent, I first remove the stopcock and take out a sheet of aluminium foil. I roll the foil into a small strip and place it into the second chamber of the Kips apparatus. Now I'm ready to start the actual reaction. Remove the now clear potassium hydroxide solution from the stirrer. Pour the solution into the top part of the Kips apparatus. You may notice that the solution is not flowing to the bottom part of the apparatus. This is because the stopcock is closed and the gases in the part cannot be compressed by the liquid. So I opened the stopcock and let the solution flow into the bottom chamber. Again, you can see as I open the stopcock, the gas in the second chamber is released and the liquid can fill up the space. Now, the reaction between the foil and the hydroxide starts. I mark the water level to demonstrate the rate at which the gas is forming. The reaction going on here is the production of potassium aluminate and hydrogen gas from aluminium, potassium hydroxide and water. The great thing about this apparatus is that it regulates its gas production by itself. As the gas takes up more volume of the chamber it pushes water from the bottom part to the upper flask. When the liquid is pushed out so far that the reactants don't touch each other, the gas production stops and no more pressure builds up. Then you can use your made gas in a reaction. As you do, the volume of the gas decreases in the system and the liquid can flow into the second chamber again, reacting with the solid. This goes on until one of the reactants is used up. When I felt like I had enough gas generated, I attached a rubber tube to the stopcock. I didn't want to burn the gas directly from the tube, so I tried to attach another piece of tubing made of glass. And then this happened. Of course, the problems couldn't stop there and my hydrogen started to leak out. I guess this is why you use kick clips. So I fixed the leakage and attached a piece of glass which had a different angle to it and was way better for this demo I wanted to show you. I don't even know why I bothered with the other one. After some time the gas built up again and I could finally burn it. To release the gas I opened the stopcock and burned it at the end of the glass tube. You can see the beautiful hydrogen flame. You may wonder why this isn't exploding. It is hydrogen after all. Well, 
This is due to the hydrogen not being mixed with any oxygen. The hydrogen can only burn when in contact with air in this case. And the only place there is air is at the end of the glass tube. So it burns away nicely instead of exploding. So this is all I can show you today. To dispose of the liquid, you can just pour it down the drain, as this is nothing else than dilute commercial drain cleaner. But actually, I opted to store it rather than pouring it away, because this liquid still contains a lot of unreacted hydroxide and is still very useful to make more hydrogen by this method. You can go over to my Instagram to see some more behind the scenes stuff and other things I find interesting. And as always, thanks for watching. So this is all I can show you. So the